Hi, and welcome to On Location. This is a short video series that we're doing to go over everything you need to know about living in some of our favorite neighborhoods here in South Florida. Today, I'm in the Heron Bay neighborhood of Parkland, Florida. We're gonna go over everything you need to know about living in Heron Bay. Heron Bay is located just west of Knob Hill, just south of Hillsboro Boulevard, and north of the Sawgrass Expressway. So it's one of the farthest west communities in Parkland. It's also one of the biggest communities in Parkland, with 35 individual neighborhoods within Heron Bay and over 3,000 homes. So it's one of the biggest and one of the most popular neighborhoods here in Parkland. Although some of the homes in Heron Bay are technically located in Coral Springs, you're zoned for all of the Parkland schools. Some of the neighborhoods in the northwest part of Coral Springs technically get you into the Parkland High School, but some of the Coral Springs elementary and middle schools, every home in Heron Bay is zoned for all Parkland schools. So you're zoned for Heron Heights Elementary, West Glades Middle, and Stoneman Douglas High School. As you can imagine, with over 3,000 homes and 35 individual neighborhoods within Heron Bay, there's a lot of variety in the types of houses you can get. There's one community that's got their condos with a one-car garage, there's a couple townhouse communities, and then there's the starter home all the way up to the multi-million dollar mansion. So there's a type of property for everyone and every budget in Heron Bay. Heron Bay has two associations. You're gonna have the local association for whatever individual neighborhood that you're in within Heron Bay, and then you're gonna have the master association that covers all the amenities, the guard gates, the common areas, stuff like that. So combined, those two associations normally total somewhere between $400 to $450 per month. They may be paid quarterly, but when you break them down to a monthly basis, they're about $400 to $450 per month, depending on the neighborhood that you're in. Heron Bay is known for its amenities. There are three manned guard gates in the community, so you would go into either the south gate, the north gate, or the really north gate off of Hillsboro, depending on where your home is within the neighborhood. And then there are two resort-style clubhouses. The south clubhouse has 12 tennis courts, a basketball court, playground, and it's got a lot of open space for kids to run around. There's also a small gym and a very nice pool here in the south clubhouse. The main clubhouse is even bigger, has all the amenities you could ever think of. So it's got a huge gym, it's got basketball courts, it's got uh, racquetball or handball courts, it's got rooms you can rent out, uh, you know, when you take your prom pre-pictures, you know, you can do it there. It's got a beautiful resort style pool and it's got a little uh, children's water park area for the kids. So it's got a ton of amenities within the neighborhood and it's a really, really great value for what you pay for the HOA. The golf course that Heron Bay is surrounded by used to be a public course, but it actually closed down permanently in 2018. It was just recently bought by the North Springs Improvement District. That's the water company that manages the water in this area. The vast majority of the golf course is going to stay open, you know, park area, and it's gonna be, it's not gonna change the views for the residents who have a golf course view, but some of the areas in the southeast part of the golf course, closest to Knob Hill and the main entrance, the south entrance, that's actually gonna be redeveloped and they're gonna be adding a little bit of commercial space, which is probably a good thing for Parkland because we could use a few more shops and restaurants and things to do, but if you're in the southeast part on the golf course, your view may change, so be careful. So if you're looking to buy a house in Heron Bay or any of the surrounding communities here in Parkland, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you want to communicate. We got your back when moving in South Florida.